Hey everyone, welcome to another coding challenge. In this challenge, I'll be making this recursive triangle thing, which you can see here. Um, I think it's got a real, a proper name, but I can't remember it. Um, also, you'll have to excuse my voice. I've got a bit of a blocked nose at the moment, so it sounds a bit, a bit funny, but um, yeah, we'll get into it. Okay, so I've just got the blank processing sketch set up here. I'll quickly chuck in the size of the window. So it'll be 720 by 720. I'm going to keep it a square for this one, just because why not? Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a quick function that's a bit easier to work with for drawing triangles. So the, the triangle function at the moment, you have to put in a, the coordinates for each point. But because I'm going to be doing an equilateral triangle, uh, I'm going to make a function that does that more quickly. So it'll draw it from the, the bottom left corner of the triangle and then draw the other point. So I'll just quickly do that first because it will make our lives a bit easier a bit later on. So I'm going to call this function try because triangle's already taken. Um, so it'll take in a an x, a y, and then the side length. So I'll call that l. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to call the triangle function from here. The first point will be at x, y. The second point, the top point, will be um, x plus l on 2. So it'll be halfway along. And the y will be y minus the sine of pi on 3 times l. So... I'm just using angles here to go up and find the length of that um, side, going up by that side length at a specific angle. Um, and then the last point will be at x plus l and y. So hopefully, if we go on the draw function here, if we say try at width on 2, height on two and give it a side length of 50 we should see a triangle with its bottom left corner in the middle of the screen and with a side length of 50. so if we run this we get a triangle roughly in the middle of the screen so it looks like that's in the middle okay that's good that'll be really handy okay so now we need to make the actual recursive function actually first i'm going to say no stroke um and then we're going to get into the recursive function. So the way that we're going to do this, you can think about this as... What we're going to do is we're going to create a function here and we're going to call it um, divide, I guess. So we'll give it... It'll need an x a y, um, a length, uh, a level, and then also the maximum level that it can be. Okay, so, a <laughs> fair bit of information here, but we'll, we'll get through it. Okay, so we're going to say, if the level is equal to the maximum, so if we're already at the maximum depth, what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, we're going to say triangle, oh actually no, we'll use our new function, try at x, y and l. And then we're also going to do divide and we're going to say, so we've got to, We've got to divide it three times for each triangle. So we'll say divide x, y, and then the length becomes half the length. Um, and then we'll go level plus one. So we're incrementing the level by one, and then the maximum stays the same as well. So actually, we could probably make that maximum global, but I'll leave it for the moment. So that's the first one. So it stays in the bottom left-hand corner. Then we need one at the far right hand side so this bottom one here will be i'll oh, say this one here will be plus 
length on two. So that'll shift it across by half the width of the triangle and draw another one. And the Y stays the same. And then the last one is at X plus L on four. And then we've got to do this thing again to figure out the, uh, the Y position. So it'll be minus sine of pi on three times the level on two like that so okay we'll, we'll see if this works in a second so i'm going to say background is 255 and we'll say that the fill up here can be 50 and if we run that ah we haven't actually called it anywhere of course <laughs> so I'll say divide and we'll go, oh, how am I going to center this on the screen? Uh, here, if we make float blank equals 500, and then we can say, if we go width on two minus length on two, height on two, plus sine pi on three times length on two. So what this is doing is it's just centering this large triangle right in the middle. So if we say, and we'll say the length is length, and then if we say this is the first level and the maximum is one, right? So we're just gonna draw the first layer. If we run this, we should see a triangle in the middle of the screen and we don't get that. Ooh, what is going on oh so I'm gonna have to say here else that's a silly mistake so it was trying to do an infinite loop essentially so we only divide it if we haven't hit the maximum level already so now if we run this we should get just a triangle in the middle okay that's good so now if we say that the maximum is two, we should see three triangles that have divided up this bigger one. Okay, perfect. So now what we can do is we can say, we can use the map function here and we're gonna map the mouse's position to what the maximum level is. So we're gonna say map mouse X, which goes between zero and the width of the screen. And if we map that to be between one and say 10. I don't know how laggy this will be, but we'll figure it out. Oh, so we need to use an integer for the uh, the maximum value. So now if we run this, we should see, look at that. So as we move our mouse across, it gets finer and finer. Oh gosh, all right. Actually, I can probably, I think 10 gets a bit too too intense so I'll say like eight or something and actually I might what I can do is I'll bump this up to 1080 and we can bump this up to a thousand uh, ten thousand no yeah sorry one thousand <laughs> and if we run oh that's way what oh no it's barely fitting on the screen but you can see Look at that. So now we can probably bump it up to a higher level here as well and still see it. So there we go. We've got recursive triangles being drawn. So um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the description, there'll be a few links. Firstly, there'll be the GitHub where you can find all the code for this as well as a link to processing so you can use the code once you've found it on GitHub. And then there'll also be a link to my website where you can vote on future topics that'll become videos, hopefully, at some point. Um, and if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and get subscribed because there's weekly videos coming out. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.